Hey guys, I'm a fan of 5 and welcome to the end. Messed up my own introduction. And welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob. I'm going to figure out what to do now. I should have probably have done that last video. But I'm just that awesome so I can get away with it. Oh, that actually worked. Unbelievable, that actually worked. Alright, let's go over here now. And that's cannon number two. But I still have one more generator left, so I can't really do nothing yet with all the cannons. Ah, mateys. Tis that be number three. Okay, the pirate accent I had to do. It, it was just calling to me and I had to do it. But I'm happy now. And, ah, son of a... That sob, that SOB, that any other curse word I could think of in the book. I have to go all the way back over there, stupid robot. I'll be glad when this ordeal is over. All the robot cannons are now destroyed. But, for the sake of whatever could possibly be up there, I'm going after it. Because I'm just that awesome and I can get away with anything. Because I'm awesome. I wish I could actually talk on the pirate, though. I wish I could talk like a Russian. I wish I could talk like a German. I wish I could do a lot of things they just can't do. Ah, shut up with your missiles of water and stuff. That's it. That's all that was up here. Just nothing. Ah, maybe that was just a way to get over the that little section right there. Well. But wait, how do I get up there? What do I do? Huh. Oh well. Let me just activate the last robot cannon. Maybe that will show me something to do. And all cannons ready to fire! Alright. It's bad! And that makes 80. I still gotta figure out how to get up there though. Oh well, but the answer shall be reviewed once I do destroy this. One, two, three, four. He has challenged her honor. But that's for another time. I gotta go back and try and figure out how to get that spatula. I'm sorry, it's just that I can't let that go so easily. What? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So they're just gonna make me. Oh, well, might as well just 
Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. I could have just done that. Um, I gotta figure out how to get this spatula. I, I just can't let it go. So, now that I'm back here... Where's Mr. Crackle? Oh, he just says hi to me. You worthless garbage. I ate your parents in the future! I'll eventually figure out how to get up there. Because when there's a will, there's a way. But that way is awesomeness. I just hope I'll be... Now, at this point, I'm just basically rambling. Get in the way! You should move! Now we shall be Sandy. There has to be something I'm missing here. Something that I'm missing. Huh. Yeah, there has to be something that I'm not getting at. This this part of the level has to be used for something. Aha! Hidden bouncer. That's crafty. That's very, very crafty. All right. I feel lots better now. That that was just that that actually just angered me a little bit. And it's just so simple. I don't even see it. Let's go over here and get this purple shiny thing. Oh, don't worry. I will make good use of all of them. So, without further ado. Let's go defeat the Flying Dutchman. Yes. Yes. Now, okay. I should really just stop rambling now. I really should. Alright. Let's do this thing for real. I just couldn't leave it on a flat note like that. Alright, now I gotta remember how to do this. Because the Flying Dutchman is actually pretty hard. Well, I mean, he's hard if you don't remember what to do exactly. Oh, shit. He has lasers! He's a fire in his lasers! Ah, I don't know what to do! What do you do? Oh shit! Oh, damn. I remember now. Easy! Easy! You just have to dodge his twin laser attack of death. Yeah, yeah, I hurt your tail. Just hurry up and launch your next attack. I said you hit him twice, he'll do that a third time. That twin laser thingy. Or he'll just do it again, twice in a row. Fine, whatever. I don't care. I don't need your sympathy. How many times are you gonna do this? Oh shit, here he comes. Jump over the fire. And do it and then repeat. Now he has one more hit left, which is usually the hardest hit. But it's a SpongeBob game, so they don't make it too complicated, which is good. Ah, what? Ah, this is gonna take a while. 
This has to be, this in the game is one of the hardest mini-bosses in the game. But of course, what do you expect? It's the last level in the game. They're not just going to give you an easy boss and it's like, oh, here, we gave up on trying. Have an easy boss. Oh, he's actually aiming for where I'm going now. Oh, shit. Alright, one more time and then he is done, I swear. Sound's starting to actually get on my nerves a little bit. Stop it, you're being late! You know, it'll actually help him survive if we went at a slower rate. I mean, faster rate. But we defeated him, and spatula got. Just hand it over like that. Oh, I give you a bubble ship. Oh, you can have a golden spatula made out of gold for a bubble. Oh, why can't this game ever be reasonable? Oh well. So, um, yeah. Let's get out of here. I feel like taking the long route instead of just teleporting back to Bikini Bottom. Because this route is actually special. Because we've completed... Wait, let me go back to the top of the list. We have officially completed every single main spatula in the entire game. Except for one last level. One last level. So this, oh, only football can take taxi. Mm, it's so lame. Yeah, and the stupid voice I did was necessary. So let me just, you know, teleport back here, and that will automatically make me SpongeBob. So yeah, that that should, uh, yeah, that should automatically make me SpongeBob. I'm gonna Tell me how this works. Oh, yeah. See, a taxi just appeared. I was about to say, cause the taxi appeared in front of me in midair. I'd be kind of scared to get on that taxi. Get on it. One, get on a floating flying taxi, and next thing you know, you're in a floating flying limousine heading to a town where you have to go pull the last needle and- oh wait, that's the wrong game. If you got what I'm referencing, then kudos to you. Alright, so, next time. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know, I know I'm probably gonna fail at this, but I gotta make it sound epic. So, wait. Before I do this, I might as well just show this off. See this up there? You gotta hit him at the right angle and that should make the stone tiki fall. I just hope I can do this right. I might as well just do something for a few minutes. Damn, I destroyed all the tikis. I destroyed one stone tiki. But like, if you got all three stone tikis down, I think it would make a super ultra mega monster combo or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, ah, uh, I've already seen this. I don't. You don't need to see it. All right. So anyway, yep. Yeah, open up that door. I think I already showed you where to get the wall jumping spatula. Since I think I accidentally got it off camera. You just wall jump up here, and then there it is. Just so you know, you forgot. So anyway, enough stalling time. Next time, on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We finish it. It will be finished. It shall be finished. And it's going to get finished. So let me just repeat myself because I love repeating myself and stalling camera time. So anyway, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we fight the last boss in the game. See you next time for the finale.